Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to teach you how to write your own mod menu to use on Black Ops 1 for zombies or campaign. So first thing you're going to need is Horizon and I'll leave a link in the description for that if you don't already have it. Um, second profile you're going to need is a program called X0. Um, I'll leave a link for that as well if you don't already have it. And third thing that you're going to need is a profile. Now you can just go on to your Xbox uh, offline profile, uh, you, you don't have to buy live for it or anything, you can just create any old profile, like call it like your gamer tag with like capital mods at the end, that's what I did, I was really original and yeah so um, let's uh, open it up in zero and see what we see. So this is actually a profile that I've modded before but um, so you can actually, I'll leave a link for it, so you can download it and just edit it if you want, but I'm actually going to show you how to how to write a, pro, uh, a mod from scratch using uh, Xero. So you just want to delete everything that's in your profile when you've uh, created it. Doesn't matter what's in there, just make sure it's all empty. And then you can start at the first box. And what you're going to want to do is write SET space G pad underscore buttons capital C for config and then you want to put space commas inverted commas I don't know and what you want to put is new new right and then after that you want to put set gpad again underscore sticks capital C for config you put commas again and new now you don't have to put new in there you can put whatever you want you can put your gamer tag you can put mod you can put whatever you want um, then you want to make a little bit of a space, you want to put a bit of a division there so you know what you're doing. Bind button in capital letters underscore L stick. I'm not sure if the L stick has to be in capital letters but I do it and it works. So um, yeah, bind button underscore L, is that a space? Yeah, you don't want the space in there. Um, you want to make sure that you, you write it like pretty much exactly as what I'm doing now. Uh, you want a space yet yeah, in between the commas, and we go on from there. And now, you see, most mod menus that you download off, off online, I'm not going to mention them, but basically, uh, they don't allow you to sprint. Uh, they 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 write over the buttons basically and they don't add the stuff back in like sprint um, Some of them don't have frag grenades some of them um, Are a bit weird when you press the back button they don't be the score menu um, You can't crouch um, Some of them you definitely can't use the standard d-pad buttons, but we're not going to do that, we're going to do it the right way, so we're going to put plus sprint you want a semicolon and then you want bind space d pad underscore up and you want plus at yeah, actions lot one, I think. Actions lot space one. Semicolon. Bind space D pad underscore down plus. Yeah, plus. Plus. <laughs> Action slot two. Semicolon. 
So we've got up, down, and one left and right. So we're going to put bind d pad underscore left space plus actions lock three yeah yeah you see how I got these um, actions lot is by going into the game time and time again and um, testing the uh, different ones to see which one actually corresponded with the right um, button I won't bind d-pad underscore right space plus actions block four semicolon uh comma yeah um then check over the section make sure you haven't um you know created any errors that you're going to run into so you, you you know you definitely want to check your spaces your semicolons um make sure that you've got a plus in front of the actions lot otherwise it just won't do anything um but yeah we're good to go on to the next one all right so what we're gonna do next is the back button because that's what's actually um telling the mods to activate as you'll see in a second so you want to do bind same again button underscore back space commas then you want cg underscore draw fps i think that's right and then space one um i think that's on yeah definitely um then you want revive underscore trigger underscore radius space nine 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 and that's basically so you can um, revive your players from anywhere in the map um, well if you can see them like if you've just got a straight point of view to them you can revive them from any distance so yeah press, um, semicolon AI space axis axis spell it right health space one now what that does is every time you press the back button <coughs> they um, basically uh, activate a debug command that tells the game that the zombies health is at one instead of I think it's around uh, well it depends what round you're on obviously but um, it makes it so basically they're just like round one zombies um, the whole game if you keep like at every like start of the round tap X and then like halfway through it tap sorry not X back button again and it'll just keep lowering the zombies health uh, that spawn so yeah uh, then you want a semicolon then you want um, AI underscore melee capital R for range space zero and then a semicolon and then what that does is the dogs um, which are the AI in this case um, it only works for the dogs, I don't know why it doesn't for zombies, um, but their melee range is zero, so they have no range on their attack, so um, they can they can never reach you, so yeah, they're, they're pr pretty much a um, god mode from dogs, that one. Then you want so there's a little, um, another one that's a bit similar to that is player underscore melee and range again same as that 
and then obviously you'd want your player range to be maxed out, um, you know, to give you the advantage over the dogs um, and the zombies. Um, next of all, you want to put give space ammo, just like that. And what that does is every time you uh, press the back button, it'll it'll give you ammo. Which is quite handy if you're in a sticky situation and you don't have time to reload, you can give yourself ammo and it'll put ammo in your clip for you. Um, then you want... Player underscore sus sustain Ammo space one. Um, that's unlimited ammo, so it sustains your ammo uh, um, until 1023 or something daft like that. Um, then you want toggle BG underscore gravity. Space 100, space 550. Now, those are round about um, the best presets to use. Um, one of them will put you in the air for a while, but not, not too long, so you're not stuck up there. Um, and one of them's around normal, um, so you can toggle it between uh, weird gravity and normal um, by pressing the back button. Um, now what we're going to do after that is um, toggle scores because we want the scores to be activated um, when we when we press the back button as well so it's acting like the normal back button um, and you want perk yeah perk um, underscore wep is it for weapon um, rate multiplier now that is um, so you can have an automatic ray gun um, when you get double tap um, and you want um, revive um underscore time underscore taken one i think that's the value uh, to make it so um it it's a like quick revive so everyone's got quick revive um then you want player underscore last Stand. Um, last stand. Bleed out. Space. Time. Space. Four hundred. Now you can lower this because if if one of you players goes down um, and you can't get to them, then they're probably going to be down for about three rounds. <laughs> So you can lower it to about 200 or 100. I think 100 might be the original one. I'm not quite sure. I might, might double itself each time. I'm not quite sure about that. Um, and then we've got um, magic underscore chest underscore movable. Um, movable, yeah, that's the one. Um, space is zero, semicolon, um, player, um, you want the burst fire cooldown, underscore burst, uh, fire. Um, cool down 
space zero so then basically uh, that'll stop um, your weapon from slipping at the top of your screen from burst fire um, you know um, it'll just keep your weapon in more of a stable place when you're um, when you're actually using the unlimited ammo um, after the cooldown um, then you can go into the binds so you can bind the back button obviously and create a separate menu inside it uh, which you can use the d-pad to activate so you want bind um, space uh, d-pad um, d-pad underscore oh um, I use demigod mode here so you go demigod there and um, bind um, d-pad underscore down um, on the down I've got toggle time scales I'll tell you about that one basically um, time scale is on a toggle and it, it, it just um, speeds up the amount of game time that you're actually playing through so the, the zombies will just start like popping out like um, quite fast and start walking towards you a lot more faster than they actually would um, it's quite good if you can delete the zombies and then uh, it's a bit of a round skip so you'd, you'd speed up the round and then keep deleting the zombies and then um, you'd, you'd fly through the rounds a lot quicker than if you were shooting them obviously um, so you want toggle um, time scale um, you want a space in there Toggle time scale space one space five space ten semicolon and then you want the bind um, D pad D pad underscore left um, Toggle G speed. No, it's all no, it's G underscore, isn't it? It's G underscore speed. Yeah, zero space 200 space 350. Now, what that lets you do is basically um, toggle G speed here. So you can toggle it to zero, that's the player speed of everyone in the game, so you can actually freeze players in the position that they're in um, by pressing the zero on the d-pad left. Um, and 200, I think that's normal, and 350 obviously is um, pretty damn fast, um, but not as fast as what some people take it, but I just think it ruins the game when you just go overboard with them. Find space d-pad underscore right space no target in this case I mean you can put whatever you want there you can look on the tech te uh, the tech game a website for a full list of the dbar commands that you would um, use um, uh, to write you know the mod menu uh, so if you wanted God mode in there you just delete no target right there and just put God it's as simple as that um, no target right okay so I think we've covered everything that we want in the back button I mean if you if you um, see other, th other things that you want and you're like oh, I'll just put that with my back button uh, like give yourself monkeys or something like that there is a there is a command for that um, but they're a bit glitchy they don't tend to work other than that I think we're good we can go on to the start so you want bind um, button underscore start um, bid where the fuck did bid come from bind button underscore start space commas and I always put god mode on that so no nope, commas 
god on that one. So basically, what you uh, do is every time you press that, you you know toggle from god mode. So um, it works better if you're trying not trying to let people know that you. Uh, using mods so you can you can toggle it quite easily um, if you need to go down if it looks really obvious bind space d-pad underscore up space no clip with that on the end a semicolon and then you want bind uh, d-pad underscore down space drop weapon so basically what, what you're going to do there is um, press start and that will activate god mode and you know that um, you know that your start menu has um, been activated and then you can press down on the d-pad and it will drop the weapon that you're holding in your hand so um, yeah that's quite cool um, and you want bind space d-pad underscore left and I put that to give Galil because if someone goes down and they die what's going to happen is you're going to have to uh, put Yoding's mods back onto the USB and reload it back up into the uh, game again because when someone goes down it resets I don't know why but it resets the um, it resets the configuration for the controller and the first player I don't know why you know that's my weapon of choice so that's why I put it there so you can put ray gun there if you really want um, upgraded underscore Z um, yeah you can put whatever you want there semicolon um, and then nope bind space d-pad underscore right and I put that on to give ammo for this for this case um, yep that one's right give ammo with space in the middle and then you want that one um, um, so yeah, you can pretty much see where it's going with the right debug commands. I'll leave some in the description. Um, so basically what we're going to do now is just create the shells of your other buttons. So we've got the back button covered, we've got the start button covered. Um, when you don't touch the button, um, it's not going to change it. Uh, but when you change it, um, it's going to be like reset. So you need to write like everything in there. So um, you know every every everything that you touch, you you've got to like make a replacement for. So we'll go bind. Uh, can I use any more of these? Yeah, seven hundred eighty-four. Um, so we've got bind button underscore b space. There you want. Uh, because I use tactical in this case, I want melee, and that's it. And then you can close it off um, just like that. What you do is um, you look up your divas, and you can you can put it straight into it. So you you can put it. So every time you press button B, you're gonna knife and put God mode, for example, um, or you could put bind d-pad um, and then bind a button that sits underneath B so as soon as you press B it will activate your d-pad to switch over to the menu that you put inside it so you just put a menu here um, and then you want bind um, button underscore X um, and then you'd uh, you'd want to use reload there, so you put um, plus use reload use re reload reload just reload will be fine. Um, use reload, yeah, yeah, and then finish it off just like that. And obviously under X button you can do exactly the same as what um, 
what we were working on up there. Yeah. I mean, I don't really use many more than that if you wanted to kick other players that are inside uh, the game there. So you can put bind, obviously, button, um, underscore, L, shoulder, that's the left shoulder, um, to the... Um, smoke grenade sorry yeah smoke grenade and you obviously because it's a smoke grenade you want smoke in there then you want that and then you want bind d-pad underscore right and then client kick all one word one and then um, my mods. I actually did this. I figured out which ones did what. If we look down here. So uh, right is either blue or white, depending on which player you spawn in as. And then you just decipher which one it is as and when if you spawn in as a different player. Um, because the, the white will move over to um, the button that you are playing as. That's, I'll put that in the description as well, so you know. Then you want uh, D blah, 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 bind space D pad um, underscore not space down uh, client okay. Uh, is there a space in between there? Oh, oh, yeah, you want client kick space and then two. Same for one. And then that one. And then you want uh, bind. Because there is only going to be three um, players in the map at once, apart from yourself, you can't actually kick yourself. Um, so that's when you know if you, if you press on one of the buttons and it ends up being you, it will it'll tell it'll come up with an error. You can't keep yourself. Um, bind D pad underscore left. And then you want client kick three, and then you can finish it like that. Um, so yeah, left shoulders, the smoke grenade, um, we've covered uh, the start button, the back button, um, then you want... Now there will be a way to, um, <clears throat> if anyone finds out and they could write in the comments, like basically if the start button, there is a way to activate it, so when, when you press the start button it will actually take you into the... Um, into the pause menu. Yeah, there is a diva for that, but I just don't know what it is. What we're gonna do is uh, the right shoulder. So um, that's the right bumper. So you wanna put bind D pad. No, nope. yeah, bind button. Sorry, bind um, bu uh, button button underscore uh, shoulder yeah space open it up plus um, frag and that one and that one and obviously in that bit just after that divas etc and then at the end of every section you want a semicolon um, so yeah right, so basically once you've got all your mods into the uh, window here you're gonna notice that we are exceeding the amount of bytes inside this um, this left hand side here so um, you wanna you wanna highlight as much of it as you think that you're going over by so in this case we'll, we'll just start by that We'll copy that and we'll paste it into there 
and you see you've got all of your um, you've spread it out a bit so basically it has any, a better chance of reading it so in this one um, we've got a few more bytes so you could add another mod in there under a different button using the same technique as what we've used for all of these so you could add quite a lot of um, mods into here um, but obviously that would be your custom menu you could just copy mine and edit it but you could just write a new one it's up to you <laughs> so yeah basically that's how you modify black ops 1 uh, campaign and zombies leave a like if this video helped you modify zombies let me know if anything goes wrong in the comments and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.